please say let us out the car. Please say, please, can you let us out the car? I, I don't got nothing to do with this. Please, can you just, just take the car and just let, let us go. First at five, this is what a hero looks like. A nine-year-old girl keeps her cool and gets herself and her baby brother to safety. What happened to her next is a story you'll only hear right here on Fox 5. And that brave young girl's story is not only frightening for any parent, but her boldness and quick thinking is truly incredible. Fox 5's Maddie White has been tracking the story for us. Maddie, you spoke to her mother yesterday. How are they doing after this? It's serious. It is a traumatic event for her. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah, the mother was desperate, just awful yesterday, a little bit better today. But really meeting the children today was so eye opening and just incredible yeah. to to know how brave this little girl was. So like I said last night, we heard from her mother as she she tells me she ran after her car as it was being stolen with her children in it. And now we're hearing from the brave young girl herself. Her name is Nyla and she did whatever it took to save herself and her baby brother, King. I know where 7-Eleven at because that's the way we go to my granny's house. This is Nyla Prentice. The nine-year-old and her baby brother were in the back seat of their mom's car Monday night when their mom ran into this 7-Eleven on Cheyenne and Decatur to use the ATM and the unthinkable happened. This boy was looking at her at a strange way and then he and then he ran, he ran outside and he tried to open my mom's door and then my mom came outside and she was like, what are you doing next to my car? And then when she come next to the car, it unlocks. So her car unlocked and then he got in the car and he, he zoomed. And I didn't want to put my hands on him because he was driving fast and I didn't want to die. Nyla says she wasn't sure where he was driving but says they were going fast. So I just closed my eyes and I was thinking, I was like, what I'm going to say. That's when she says she reached for the unlock button in the car. I reached into um, unlock the door. He was like this. And I was like, please, sir, let us out the car. Please, sir, please, can you let us out the car? I, I don't got nothing to do with this, please. She says the only thing the kidnapper said to her was get out. He pulled over. The only thing I was worried about was my little brother. And so I tried to grab my shoes. And he didn't let me, he was like, hey, get out. So I grabbed his binky and then me and him ran. Once on the sidewalk, she started running. I didn't know where I was at. Just started running with him. Because I'm not going to leave him in the car. Because I always watch him every day. And Nyla and King managed to get back to 7-Eleven. She ran barefoot through the dark streets with her baby brother in her arms. I was looking for some lights and then I saw the 7-Eleven that we was at and then I went in there and I was shaking and crying. The staff at 7-Eleven gave her a chair and something to drink. Then the officers came in. I heard they say they had my mom. I was, I started crying. Her mom says she fell to the floor, thanking God her children were safe. Still unclear what this person's motive was. Did he know you were there? Yes. He looked back at me. He should have been minding his own business. He sure should have. And that uh, man accused in the kidnapping is behind bars facing numerous charges. Now, the mother learned today that her car was totaled by the kidnapper. So if you'd like to help with those expenses, a link to a GoFundMe is on our, our website, fox5vegas.com. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.